Kumar, the founder of Indian Expats in Dubai. We are back again with ID Achievers Talk Show. This is episode 4. Today I have the guest on the show as Mrs. Deepthi Singh. She is the winner of Mrs. India Dubai International 2021. Also the first runner-up of ID Fashion Fiesta Season 1 which happened in July 2021. And she, is an, she has an expertise in modeling as well as grooming. Let's understand more from her. Hi Deepthi, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much. It really means a lot that you spare some time for us today. So I'm you. glad that I, you, uh, you gave me this opportunity to be here and I'm really, really happy to be here today. So Deepthi, I think the viewers want to know and a lot of them already know you of course. Yes. But tell us a bit about your background. Alright, so I've been married for 12 years, mother of two kids. Uh, throughout have been a learning and development professional, was a corporate professional ever since I moved here to Dubai and last two years when I moved to Dubai it was uh, the pandemic situation so my break wasn't really planned but it just so happened that when I moved to Dubai I got into a break mode and then when I got into a break mode I was like exploring something new to kind of really try out because 13 years of my corporate career I had only worked and I come from a coaching, training and development background. So it was office, kids, that, that was my life. Uh, when I moved here and started um, exploring what else can I do when I am back home, I found these, you know, pageants and uh, modeling assignments and, uh, you know, walk, fashion walk, etc. And I thought, why not give it a try? Because it was somewhere in the back of my mind. And that's how kind of I started off. So this is in a nutshell, this is who I am now. And this is kind of the background that I want to kind of let everybody know who is watching this. Wow, that's amazing to know about your journey, right from being a corporate professional to this fashion industry, right? Uh, let's talk about my favorite topic, which is IED Fashion Fiesta. So IED Fashion Fiesta happened in July 2021, season one, and you were the first runner up. I mean, obviously we love the way you walk and you presented yourself and everything, but I want to hear it from you. How was your experience? Yeah, so going back to the memories of IID Fashion Fiesta, I think one of the best memories. Um, it so happened that IID Fashion Fiesta happened at a time when I had just walked, uh, uh, basically did a fashion walk for, uh, for a platform and I got a thrill of walking on the ramp and people watching you, looking at you and that's when IID Fashion Fiesta was announced. IID Fashion Fiesta for me was more like a gateway to really explore the world and when I actually got there and saw all the participants which were 32 participants I was like okay am I at the right place or not I had some fears uh, which usually happens to a newcomer you know and uh, then I thought let's go for it and the entire journey of IID Fashion Fiesta from the first day when we all met up and uh, the choreography happened and every weekend we used to spend hours doing the ramp work training and the choreography and making new friends it was exciting and on the day when the finale happened when the actual id fashion fiesta was there i think uh, all of us it's just not me all 32 participants were all excited to be there on the stage and i think it's one of the best memories i have so far i'm glad to hear that id fashion fiesta is obviously very close to my heart and uh, I think you had won it, you were one of the winners out of 32 contestants. It's really a big deal. Uh, yeah. So I actually <laughs> wanted to be the winner. I ended up becoming the first runner up. But becoming the first runner up was a huge learning for me. And I just want to add uh, here because I know there are a lot of uh, people who would be watching this and there could be aspirants who are actually looking forward to making an entry here. First runner up is actually a very painful thing and why I would say that because then you know that you really worked hard you were there but you just missed it by say some points or there was something which you needed to work hard on you that you didn't reach the milestone and when I was announced the first runner-up obviously great experience and good learning but that learning helped me to reach out to the next pageant uh, when I was the winner 
it's amazing how you uh, you took your learning experience in this way and you know stuff like that both you and me know how close you were to being a winner there even then but uh, and talking about the bigger platform of mrs india dubai international as the title itself talks it holds so much weightage and it's happening from so many years that is maybe one of the oldest pageants in the town mm-hmm. and you have won it very recently yeah. so how was the experience over there Oh I think uh, when I think back I uh, and it's it's very very recent so I'm still in that uh, mode and I've not come out of it and uh, calling myself Mrs India Dubai International 21 winner is a huge huge thing for me and I'm glad that I could reach that level and I'm very thankful to the platform uh, for uh, bringing on such uh, pageants where in people like us who married who been to corporate world who's looking into an entry is wanting to get an exposure uh, are getting that exposure uh, and kind of the right grooming etc so that the gateway is you know is just beginning to start from there uh just before mrs india uh, i had also uh, kind of participated in she pageants where i was also the winner of uh, uh, the best ramp walk and uh, so all of that had given me uh, quite a bit of confidence to kind of go in and uh, make my mark in the pageant but uh, it needs a lot of preparation i think uh, when you want to really participate and be the winner you need to have the right uh, mental attitude you know uh, ha, 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 how how i would like to say like a right mindset you know with that mindset i came in and um, participated and thankfully i was the winner you very well deserved to be the winner and both you and me remember before uh, during the uh, pageant of mrs india dubai we were talking about how all the contestants are so strong Yes. And uh, I have seen you from the time of um, ID Fashion Fiesta, and seeing you there was so much proud feeling for me as well. So yeah, it it felt like you know you have won it. So yes, yeah. I do remember in my years every time I walked the stage, there was somebody saying Dipti, 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 <laughs> and that was you. And it was coming from which side of the stage also I could remember because every time I was there, you and your team was there to cheer me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a fabulous feeling. and uh, now i know and obviously you've been doing a lot of modeling assignments not even now even from before and you have been working with a lot of brands already so what exactly you're looking for in future as far as modeling goes uh yes indeed a long way but i feel i have to go a long way in this journey i've just started off but i've got very little experience because i've been to different kind of platforms uh, and winning a pageant was one of the greatest experience that i have was mrs india dubai international um so now in the future i am looking at helping out when i say helping out grooming all the aspirants because i know when you are kind of sitting there in your home you're watching the show you're actually looking at all the pageants happening all around there is a bit of a desire in a lot of uh, women that let's be on the stage and how can i be and just take that first step most of us hesitate to do that and i would like to tell everyone that please in a lifetime you should experience this once for yourself because uh, we have a very small window you know uh, most of us are in 35 40s 45 so we have a very small window wherein we could do something for ourselves and this is the time and anyone who's looking forward to doing that i think once you make up your mind you need that kind of prepare uh, preparedness to be on uh, on a platform like that uh, i would say have fun but don't be there for just having fun so for me i am looking forward to helping out all those people who are looking at coming to this platform because when i started off uh this was one area that i felt that okay who do i reach out to what do i um uh, who is the best person that i can reach out to how do i prepare for my introduction round what can i do how do i walk what should i wear how should i look etc etc so i think uh, that's what uh, my objective is and i i come from a coaching and training and learning background so helping speaking coaching comes naturally to me and fashion is my recent interest so i thought why not marry both and become a fashion groomer and help out all those people who are actually looking out 
So that's that's the objective and that's the future that I see for myself. This makes so much sense, Deepthi, because now you 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 have done so much, you have achieved so much. and like you said there's so much to do and the best thing is that the way you blend everything together and come up again bigger in a better way i request all that i'd like to talk to the camera to the viewers that all the people who are looking out for groomers or any paid assignments we have deepthi right here who is looking out for such opportunities and you know we are also happy to help you and work with you towards that so sure. so deepthi one fine question i have for you and i think uh, that is very relevant and you'll be the right person to answer that also uh, Could you please tell us some of the tips? There are so many ladies out there who want to get into this, but they're very hesitant, or uh, they are already uh, in this, but they are lost. So, what what are the kind of tips that you want to provide for them? Yeah, I think uh, the first thing I would like to tell everyone who is looking forward to make an entry here is take that first step and be yourself. I know be yourself is very cliche but it actually makes sense because when you're on a pageant and a platform like this you tend to start looking at other participants you compare yourself you start looking at other people's outfits and you feel oh her outfit is better her hair is better her height is better her smile is better you have to be very authentic and absolutely sincere to yourself and be yourself when an individual is confident that comes across to the jury and everyone in the audience it just comes naturally so that's first thing the second thing is having the right mental attitude having a winning attitude you have to have a winning attitude right from the beginning the day you join a pageant and you really have made up your mind that i want to do something like this because the moment you say anything negative if i win maybe those things will because you know mental uh, our our minds are very powerful they just read what's running in your mind always say to yourself i am going to win i am going to do well in this i am going i am seeing myself already in top 3 so that is the winning attitude that differentiates you which is the winner from the other participants and the third thing is which is the three p's which is prepare 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 nothing is going to help you but the preparedness that you have for the particular pattern be it uh, be it uh, on your mental self be it on your physical sen- uh, sense how you walk how your attitude is what is coming across what is that you want to convey to the participants is very important so i think if you keep these three things in mind anybody can um, be the winner Thank you so much uh, for all the time that you've given us, and for loving ID, for standing with ID. It really means a lot. Thank you. I Deepthi. think yes, ID has been the best uh, platform that I've been. Uh, I've been associated with ID ever since its inception, which is yes. it's going to be two years now. Yes. And I think the various opportunities that I got through ID, and I've seen ID grow, and as I see ID grow, I also see myself growing. So I think I I wish uh, ID all the best. uh two years and i think there are a lot of milestones that you ied will soon achieve so all the best to ied thank you so much deepthi thank you very much thank you so guys that was mrs deepthi singh the new fashionista in town for you all stay tuned for more such episodes and more such entrepreneurial and fashion journeys please don't forget to like follow and subscribe indian expats in dubai